Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds so crazy even saying this, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't get your positive feedback, so thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs> I know, right? Somebody has a new intro. And please let me know in the comments down below if you really like it. For those of you that do not know me, hi, my name is Alex and I'm a makeup artist and here on YouTube I would like to share my experience with you guys. So if you're interested in becoming better in makeup, please give it a big old thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. Without any further ado, if you would like to learn how we created this gorgeous makeup look on our beautiful model Alexandra, then keep on watching. Alright, so first I'm starting by massaging her own hydrating cream into the face so that I can get the blood flowing going on. With this we are awakening her skin. Next I'm taking the Ordinary Blender Revite Hemisquilane and she's tapping it on top of her skin. For foundation I'm using the Forever Undercover by Dior and in the shade 21. I'm applying this in the center of her face and also in the perimeter on the face. We're blending the foundation with the Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge. As always, I'm using my favorite concealer palette. It's the Pro Concealer and Correct palette by MAC. And this is in the shade Light. I'm using the shades NC15 and NC20 to place them underneath her eyes and I'm going to do the contour, which is cream contour in this case, and then I'm gonna blend everything seamlessly. I'm gonna let the concealer to stay for a while, while I'm applying the NYX Wonder Stick as a cream contour onto her face. And over here, you will have a look where exactly and why I am applying the contour. The application of a cream contour, it varies from face to face. On today's model, what I'm trying to do with the cream contour is I'm trying to emphasize her already beautiful cheekbones and also define her jawline. I'm taking a more detailed brush and I'm blending the nose contour seamlessly from her nose bridge towards the eyebrow. Once the cream contour is blended, I'm going to proceed by blending the concealer under her eyes, on her forehead and on her chin as well. Once the concealer is blended, I'm going to take my all-time favorite translucent powder by Laura Mercier and I'm going to set the concealer into her face. Without any doubts, this is the best translucent powder on the market. Once I'm ready with setting the concealer, I'm going to set the contour with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics.
Another product that I really stand by is drugstore product which is extremely affordable. It's the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter. I swear to God, there are so many good highlighters out there, but this is magic. For her eyes, I'm going to use the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 powder. Now, first of all, I do apologize for the stains on the palette. I did try to clean them, but unfortunately I couldn't. What I'm showing you here is how I apply the first shade, Silk Cream. On a smaller blending brush, I'm taking the next shade, which is the shade name Enchanted. And I'm blending this shade exactly in the outer corner of her eye, starting from the lash line and working my way up in a triangle shape. And what is left on the brush, I'm taking it in the crease. I'm taking the shade Diva from this palette and this brings to my attention the fact that I'm turning my naturally beautiful model into the diva that she is. <laughs> now, what I love about this shade is because it has that sparkle in it, but unfortunately I'm looking at the monitor and the camera cannot really pick it up. But in real life this shade is gorgeous. And what I'm doing is I'm blending the frosting shade from the Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics from the inner corner of her eye, working my way inside the Diva shade. You know, it's so funny seeing how I'm applying this eye pencil. <laughs> literally think that I'm gonna poke her eyes. Anyway, I'm continuing with the lower lash line. Now over here I'm blending, hmm, I would say the same shades from what I have placed on top of her eyelid, which is the Silk Cream and the Enchanted. I'm applying falsies and if you would like to see more detailed about how do I apply falsies please leave it down in the comments below and I will make a dedicated video either on YouTube on or Instagram stories. To line her lips I'm using the Dream Lips Lip Liner by Golden Rose and this is in the shade 518. I really love these lip liners because they're so creamy and they're so easy to apply and they're also very easy to be blended inside the lipstick and good thing is that they are not smudging around throughout the day. I'm taking my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks and it's in the shade Mannequin by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I'm applying this on to her lips. Now I know it doesn't look blended at the moment but trust me, with the Fashion Punch Lip Gloss by MAC Cosmetics I'm going to blend everything seamlessly into the lips. And on my last and final step, as a setting spray I'm using the Lasting Performance by Max Factor which smells absolutely incredible and I do apologize I didn't film this part. And with this guys is how we transform our naturally beautiful model into a diva that she Just to be better in makeup. 
until I see you in my next one. Bye guys.